All right, here we are then, everyone, for my team career mode season two. And as you can see, we are choosing the calendar for season two. And this is going to be a very juicy one, I think. So I did, I did think of starting it by removing the first two and putting Australia as the first to give some nostalgia, just like the start of 2019 and seasons beyond where Australia was the first race. That's going to be interesting. I haven't decided yet if I want to put Imola in. I might add it back. But so far we have Miami, Spain, Monaco, Azerbaijan, Canada, Great Britain, Austria, France. We're leaving out Hungary, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Brazil and Abu Dhabi to finish it off. I haven't really decided yet what I'm going to do. But this is looking like what it is. I'm thinking of probably getting Imola and we'll repl replace it with Mexico. But I don't know. Okay, so I decided to remove Mexico because I don't really enjoy that track as much. But this is pretty much how it's going to look like. This is what the calendar is going to look like. Pretty interesting. But yeah. Alright, here we are then in HQ, and as you can see, we have the Australian Grand Prix coming up, and this is what our car looks like. We're going a bit more of a black and green type of look. We're going in dark, and I thought, let's try that out. I do like black and green, so obviously, you haven't seen yet who I've signed as our team mate, should I say. We've got a lot of time on our hands. So we're going to be making so much upgrades. But yeah. We have a high cash balance. Obviously, Fernando Alonso has retired. We both all know that, actually. So yeah. That Alpine seat is open. So who knows who's going to be in that Alpine seat. Facilities, however, we have a lot of money. So we're going to be investing in... The aerodynamic stuff with fabrication and everything. And of course, resource as well. And then we're going to do in our simulator as well to improve. And we're going to keep the rest for now, actually. We're going to get some pit equipment to improve that. Okay. So, yeah. And the build time. We're just wasting all this shit. Alright. So far, we're the sixth fastest car on the grid. And obviously, we have ages, so we need to see what's going to happen. But it's looking promising. Now, Jensen Button is back in Formula One. He is our teammate, and I've been wanting to sign him for so long. Even in the last game, but we ran out of time. I would have signed Rossford. Obviously, my second option would have been Nico Rosberg, but Rosberg is not in the game. But yeah, Jensen Button, back in Formula 1. One of my favourite drivers, but yeah, let's see the driver market because hopefully there's some new transfers. I haven't even checked that out myself yet. Lewis Hamilton, still in Mercedes. Verstappen, still in Red Bull. Just It looks the same, really. Kevin Magnussen! in Alpine. Well then, that is a surprise. 28 focus. I did not expect Magnussen to get that Alpine seat. That is wild. Ocon still remaining Alpine. Yuki Tsunoda and Alpha Tari stole in that. JB with us. Nicholas Satipi and Williams. Granny Jo is still there. Oscar Piastri in Haas. So he does have a seat in Formula 1. But he's in half, so yeah. I think that only, I think that's just what it looks like, really. Only, yeah, it's only two transfers. All right, let's see how this is going to be like. Then we have to skip through all of this, all the upgrades and everything coming, and hopefully it all comes in well and it doesn't fail. Everything is looking good so far. Obviously, new season, new developments, new driver. No, new year regulations. Oh, what the fuck am I on about? New driver transfers as well. That's what I was meant to say. Okay. 
We've had the new parts come to the marketing department. Office. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. A reporter is asking who you see as your rival. Who is my rival? We need rival? your input. Sure. I'm going to say Lando Norris. Because I feel like Thanks we'll be squabbling that. with McLaren. I was thinking Pierre Gasly, but I'm not sure. I don't, they're asking me that so early on. We haven't even started the race yet. Hi. Everything, everything coming in now. We have three thousand resource points. Crazy. Yeah, we have unlocked a lot of stuff, which is really good. Intercool is gonna be one thing. We do need some aerodynamics as well. Alright, so I think the resource points that we're going to get, we're going to focus on aerodynamics because that is really important. But yeah, so far, so good. Aston Martin have fallen back. Williams have t taken a, a leap up just behind Haas. So that's a surprise. Aston Martin are doing poorly. But they might be able to change it back. But yeah, without further ado... Let's get down to race weekend. Alright, here we are then for the season opener of season 2 in Australia. And it's already wet. And it looks like it's going to be a bit of on and off in qualifying, apparently. So this is going to be I take fun. A set of intermediates in these unpredictable conditions. Yep. All right. Interesting. So we're going to have to get used to seeing K Mag and Alpine and our ex teammate in a house. So if anything, yeah, interesting. I'm hoping to see JB do well. So let's hope so. Alright. I don't even have a wet setup. I haven't even gotten that far yet, but let's see what we can do out on this soaking wet track. Use a bit of time. It's not ideal. But it moves us, moves us up into third place. It was a pretty decent lap, but that final corner, you have to be so gentle with the throttle, I'd like you to spin out for some reason. Traction is an issue there. It's Magnus is doing his lap now. Alright, let's see what the results are. Alright, George Russell leads the way out of Q1 with Lewis Hamilton alongside of Lando, Norris, Max Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, ourselves, Perez, Leclerc, Jensen and Ocon rounding off the top 10. Ferrari, are, Ferrari aren't really doing that well, surprisingly, but Mercedes, another one too. We get out of Q1 very comfortably, thank God, but yeah. Oscar Piastri, Mick Schumacher, Yuki Tsunoda, Latifi, Gasly, and Joe are out of Q1. Carlos Sainz in a leather white. <laughs> Ferrari needs to get that game over. I don't even know what's going on with them. They might be sandbagging, but yeah, alright. On to Q2 then! It's a little damp on track, but most of the drivers are going on softs. Yeah, the grip is going to be a bit of an issue as long as traffic as well. As we get past Carlos Sainz, that's going to really cost us. Two minutes remaining in the session. Got Verstappen out of us. I don't know what he's doing. He just goes onto the gravel. 
Well done. Okay. Round the final corner, foot to the floor, what's this going to be then? It's going to be a 1 minute 25 2 and we're on pole. So despite having traffic on our hands, that was a pretty solid lap. But they will most likely get taken from us because we did have traffic. But alright, let's see, let's see what happens. Alright, Hamilton on pole with Verstappen and Perez in the top three. We're out of Q, we're out of Q, we're out of Q2. But yeah, traffic was a big deal. We're like 3.3 seconds behind. Yeah, it is what it is. If we didn't have traffic on that, we probably would have been in the top 10, but all right. Our car is very competitive now compared to last year. JB made it comfortably into Q3, so the two Ferraris lack in pace, so I don't know what's going on with them. But we can bag, we can bag points. So let's see what we can do in the race. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. It's a combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners, making it a very tricky track when it comes to overtaking. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Sainz, Button, Leclerc and Kevin Magnussen, Vettel, Ocon, Valtteri Bottas, and Stroll. Lightning, Oscar Piastri, Mick Schumacher, and Yuki Tsunoda. Latifi, Gasly, Joe, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Natalie Pinkham is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway we're into those tense few minutes before the first race then everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability they haven't been running in the hot turbulent wake of other cars in practice they've not been pushing at 100 percent for long durations let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises all right pretty interesting there the mclarens are looking very strong alongside with the mercedes ferrari seem to be taking a massive downfall especially with the new regs so they need to crack on if they want to get back up but yeah one interesting strat soft tires to lap a all the way to the end with hards well then i i i did not expect that let's 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 give it let's give it a shot let's just see how that's gonna go then Let's go underway for the season opener. The formation lab gets underway then, and it's going to be interesting today to see how the dry conditions could affect the lifespan of the tyres. take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right, which ones have got it horribly wrong? Red Bull this year by becoming a final sponsor to the 
All right then. Here we go for the Australian Grand Prix. Five red lights. And we are underway for the Australian Grand Prix. Pretty solid start from us. Show getting an amazing start ahead of Bottas and Ocon there. Almost. We're gonna apps. Okay, we thought about sending down the inside, but there was no room as it was speed wide. Schumacher gets past us. We get a warning for Clive and Ocon. But we're gonna dive down the inside and make it work this time. On both Ocon and Stroll, Bottas side by side with Magnussen. <laughs> Cutting the curve there, not intentional. Yeah, but most of the grid seems to be going on soft tyres, so... Some on mediums, as I see our teammate was on medium tyres. Ocon behind us on mediums, Lance Stroll now getting on us. How is this going to work? Because Magnussen is side by side just ahead of Bottas. We're thinking of squeezing by. Can we make this move work as we go around the outside of Kevin Magnussen and Bottas? I don't know how we managed to do that, but Magnussen! <laughs> Look at that straight line speed in the Alpine! Oh my god! Meanwhile, science alongside with Vettel, as Vettel gets past, Barton ahead of Sebastian Vettel up ahead, we hold off Magnussen. Wow. So there are some on medium tires. Most of the majority are on soft. George Russell sets the fast up and leads the way. We're going to use most of our battery here. Can we think of making a move as Sebastian Vettel makes a move on Jensen Button now? As a side by side button holds off. Science catching up to the pack. It's very interesting now. Russell set the fast lap against that Mercedes is very fast. DRS now enabled. Yeah, this car feels so much better compared to last season. As we're diving down the inside almost, trying to make a move on science. Go around the outside, but we overtook off the track, I think. I don't really know. Yeah, our front tyres are just overheating, especially the front left. Magnussen getting past sides and he's thinking about making a move on us. He dives down the inside. We still hold him up from the outside. Despite having very worn tyres. We have a Stappen pit, the Claire pits. We're going to follow them in. As Magnuson and Schumacher follows us as well. Let's see how this is going to be. Pretty solid pit stop. That's warm the tires up now. Boss house getting past us. As we go in very deep into that corner, Boss has to get past comfortably. Obviously, one very cold hard tires. So it's going to be very difficult. We've got Magnus and other behind us as well. If we get a flag, because Esteban Ocon is out of the session. Well done. Some of the drivers come into the pits now. Gashley, Sonoda, and I think that's Leclerc. No, it's Sides.
Boxing does have to pay it. Box has, has to make another stop because those mediums ain't gonna go to the end. I'm not sure who else up ahead needs to. I don't think anyone else. We need to try and get past Science as quickly as possible because he's on a cold tire so he will be a bit slow. As Max Verstappen now is out of the session. What has happened? Verstappen having mechanical problems or something? Jensen's coming in for his stop now. We get very close to the gravel. As Verstappen's tired. We get fucking oh my god, I'm I'm not even paying attention. The gravel. Let's go over the curb. Almost losing the car. That's gonna cost us. Bottas comes from the pitch like we expected. He's probably gonna to switch to another set of mediums. I'm assuming. If he wants to get to the end or he might be switching to hards. The 10 laps remaining. We're in P10 so far. It doesn't look like anyone else up ahead needs to pay it. So, let's see what we can do from here. We're expecting some rain soon. Expect the first drops in the next few minutes. Well then, this could be very interesting. It's probably going to come at lap 25 or something, I don't even know. Alright, around the final corner we go to start our final lap. Science got past Ricardo. Okay, this is your final lap, final lap of the race. Yeah. Wait, is that a McLaren leading? Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. I'm tripping on the mini map. I think that's Lando Norris. That is Lando Norris. Yeah, I knew there wouldn't be that much rain in the last one. Else. So, you know. Oh my god. Lando Norris has won a Grand Prix. Lando Norris, ladies and gentlemen, is a race winner in Formula 1. We can officially say that now. McLaren are back on top. And we come around the final corner to claim a point. The home favourite Ricardo and A's will come to finish in 10th. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. Brilliant stuff from McLaren today. What a superb victory. Natalie Pinkham, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the McLaren team, and I'm very happy to see them there on that top step of the podium.
And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Lando Norris takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after that excellent result. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? It's an interesting one today. On balance, I think I have to call out Alex Albon. A really strong drive for him today and one that he and his team should be very proud of. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. And I can't wait to see what's next. Well then, Lando Norris leading the season opener. I never thought I'd say that. This season's going to get exciting, I can only tell. It's a Mercedes double podium, pretty much. Jensen Button grabbing 10 points, and we grab 11 as he finishes in fifth. So we have 11 points in total. So we are fourth in the constructor so far, which is very good. This is really nice. But yeah, I feel like if we qualified higher, we probably would have had a chance to grab more points, but it is what it is. At least we came in with the points and Jensen finished ahead of us to get more points. So that is good for the team and for the constructors. But yeah, Lando Norris, you're a race winner. I cannot believe I'm saying that. Our income is solid at the moment. We should start considering where we can look to invest the profit we're making back into the team. All right, then. That's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the My Team content and the F1 content on the channel. And I will see you lot in the next video. Stay tuned.